Yo, what's up? This is Jen, and I'm here to test out this game called Deathmark. I've seen, like, the first, I don't know, 20 minutes of this game in YouTube, and I'm thinking, like, oh man, I should really buy this game. But the price for it in the Switch eShop and the Steam was, like, still in full price. Oh, well, kind of full price. Uh, like 70 something bucks in uh, Aussie, Aussie bucks. Um, but luckily right now there's a Steam sale so right now everybody should uh, take advantage of the Steam sales that's going on right now um, but yeah I just want to check out this visual novel horror game question mark so yeah I've seen all this but we'll go uh, hey when I hit up the karaoke place the new love and hero song is out Hmm, I'm not feeling up for it today, up to today. This star creeped me out earlier. You want to hear it? I like the art. It's like all oh, filled grainy. Oh, sure. You remember Miss Yamaguchi? She wears those big glasses. I heard she's gone missing. What? No one knows where she is. Nope, she just disappeared. Up then poof from the library. One of the student librarians said that she was researching something there, but then she vanished. But she's super diligent, right? One of the students thought it was weird that she'd up and leave like that. So he checked in on her. And but when he did Damn. Oof. The only thing left her arm. It had a really weird scar on it, so it was definitely her arm. A scar? Yeah, it looked like a dog bite. She showed it to me once. She had no idea where it came from. For real? There was a scar like that on Mickey's leg too. Huh? Mickey? Wait, that's... The girl who went missing, yeah? That's crazy. Maybe that rumor is true. The one about the cursed scar. Cut it out, you're scaring me. And that's me, the protagonist. I hear snatches of an idiotic ghost, ghost story. They're speaking seriously, but it's obvious that they don't believe a word. They're only killing time. Rumors are the best way to do that. Um, want my coffee? Give me a moment. I need coffee. It's freaking cold right now. Oh my god. Sun's about to set. It's gone later than I planned. Shouldn't have stuck around to hear this, that story. Better hurry. Because I have the thing on my wrist as well. in the distance. A huge mansion is in front of me. Strange. I'm sure I was just... My vision blurs. My ears are buzzing. Oh, my head's swimming. It's almost like I'm drunk. What time is it? I glance at my wrist, but my watch is gone. Did I put it in my coat pocket? But all I find is a business card. In elegant printed letters is a name. Saya Kujo, spirit healer. On the back is a photo of the mansion. I guess this must be the Kujo mansion then. Kujo mansion, Saya Kujo. Those things sounds familiar somehow. One way to find out. Take a deep, taking a deep breath, I reach out to knock. I stop when I see something on my wrist. <laughs> what is it? It's the dog bite. Oh my God! Look at that. Oh man, it's a it's a strange scar. When did that? I could just be imagining this, but I feel an icy chill when I look at it. Yeah, no shit. Look at that. 
that's awesome. Knock, knock, knock. My fist pounds on the door. No reply. A light appears on the second floor window. It's probably too far from the door for them to hear me knocking. Knock the knock. I grasp the doorknob and find it unlocked. No point in staying outside. I'll just barge in. I apologize to the owner later. That it doesn't work like that, dude. Well, whatever. The inside is shrouded in darkness. A small beam of light from the window is the only way I can see anything in here. It's dead silent except for the constant ticking of a clock second hand. I must be in the entrance hall. The atrium extends to the second floor. Like the RE1 mansion. What a mansion. Anyone home? There's no reply to my shout. Maybe maybe they sampled this place so they can't hear me down here. Guess I need to go upstairs now. The staircase is just visible up ahead. I walk towards it, cutting across the hall. Ah, oh, coffee. My ears catch a strange noise. Uh, I turn to look where it's coming from. Hot cha cha. Someone's there, enveloped by the dark. I think they're, I think they're staring at me. Them. Approach them. Gulping, I hesitantly make my way over. Trepidation slowing my steps. It's a young girl. She doesn't move an inch as I approach. At least, it seems that way to me. It doesn't look like she's even breathing. Doki doki. A corpse. Great. I creep myself out and start to sweat. What should I do? Let's do some touching. With a shaky hand, I slowly reach out and touch her skin. I'm not sure what I expected, but it feels unnatural somehow. Stiff and cold. What the? I press down on her arm and she makes a strange sound I heard earlier. You know, it makes sense. She's a daughter. The doll's joints creak when they're moved. That's what that made the noise. What a relief, if disappointing. Hmm. Spooky. I begin climbing the stairs, making sure not to trip. As I reach the landing, the sharp sound of a bell breaks the silence. It seems seems to be coming from above me. I can see that there. Looking up, I can spy the outline of a clock. I bet that's what's making the sound. Wait, let's wait. I'm pausing and wait for the clamor to end. It doesn't seem to be stopping. Maybe it's broken. Uh, sure. The noise guides me over. It's an antique grandfather clock. The noise is definitely coming from here. I reach towards the glass to check inside. All of a sudden, it stops chiming. Silence descends, broken only by ticking. I guess it's fixed now, but... That timing was a little too spot on. Was it really a coincidence? All these strange occurrences make me uneasy, but I continue to the room with the light. Uh, you're in for it now, butter. Stop, uh, stopping in front of the door I knocked. I wonder if that's loud or not. Uh, but, uh, but again, there's no reply. I try again, several times, even calling out, but there's still no answer. I push on the door. It's dark inside. Strange, I definitely saw lights in here when I was outside. Wafting through the room is an odd smell. It's sugary, 
looks like a red fruit. The whole room is permeated with it. Some kind of aromatherapy, maybe? It's not a particularly pleasant smell, though. The aroma draws me further into the room. The floor under my feet feels off. It's wet. It dawns on me that I'm smelling something else mixed in with the sweet smell. I know this scent. It's metallic tang. Ooh, what the fuck? Lightning flashes and I caught a glimpse of something. An startlingly grotesque object stretches out across the floor beneath my feet. Something strange is there. Stare at it. Woo! Look at that. It's so bizarre that I can't stop staring. Wow, look at that. That's such a weird form of body horror. Blooming flowers are everywhere. I wouldn't call that part a flower. Or that. Or that. Or that. Maybe this, not that. Bursting out of the woman's stomach, her blood soaked body overwhelmed me. I wrench I wrench my gaze away, horrified. But the hellish image is burned into my mind now. <laughs> I can feel my entire body shaking. Bile rises. I'm going to throw up. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh wow. In the next instant, the lights are on. Wait, that's not all. The body's gone too, leaving only a stain. This doesn't make sense. It's a bad dream, at, le at least I'd really much prefer if it was. But the faint smell that reminds me of the blood stain crushed any hope that I had of that. Ugh. I better retreat from the room in an effort to skip this whole bizarre situation. Uh, when I stumble back into the hall, the lights are on here as well. I decided to have another look around. All the furnishings in here are old enough to be antiques. They match this old fashioned mansion. What a ma ooh, mansion. Oh, look at these. A large doll sits on a couch. This must be the figure I saw in the dark. One would easily mistake this for a human if they couldn't see all the ball joints. Like there and there. This probably belongs to the owner of the mansion. So, what do I do now? Contact the police. Her stomach was full of flowers, sir, and I, and the corpse up, and the corpse up and vanished like a form. The corpse up and vanished like a form. Like anyone would believe that. Welcome to the Kujo Mansion. Wow. The doll moved. It spoke. A different kind of shudder runs through me than the one that I found the corpse. <laughs> yeah. uh, up, to, up until this point, it uh, was nothing more than an absorber to all these freaky events. I could distance myself from it, but now, a doll is talking to me. Have I startled you? If so, I sincerely apologize. My master ordered me to behave as a normal doll until, until told otherwise. So this is otherwise, I guess? The words are elegant and refined, but her face never moves an inch. She may look human, but she clearly, it clearly isn't. She f slowly folds her hands together. Oh, she can move by herself. Uh, so she can move too. Oh yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm sorry for not introducing myself. I am called Mary. Hi, Mary. You have likely seen a number of oddities, oddities here already. I see. My master, Sayakujo, was unable to escape from the market then. Sayakujo. Does she mean the corpse? Oh wait, what's this What's this about a mark? Lady Saya was searching for a way to escape the mark. Were you not also called here by cause of the mark on your arm? Ta-ta-ta! 
speaking of which, I didn't even see the mark on the body. I totally forgot that. Uh, she wants to be talking about this weird scar. Did Saikuja invite me, invite me into this mansion? When I try to remember, my head hurts. I have something to tell you in this place of my late master. But I would like to ask one thing first. Do you know your own name? Well, that was a much simpler question than I've been expecting. It's... I break out into a sweat. My throat is drying up. Why? Why can't I answer? I'm shocked to find that I'm coming up blank. I see. Then it, then it is as I thought. Somehow Mary knows what's going on with me. Before I offer an explanation, please decide on a temporary name. Things will go much easier if, my, if I have a name by which to call you. It is most likely that you will find to remain calm if you are nameless. She's probably right. Better to have some placeholder name than I continue your life as a hollow, nameless being. Enter protagonist's last name. Uh, you know what, I'll go with default. Uh, da, 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 confirm. Fine, yes. First name, Kazuo. Okay, that's, that's good enough. Yes, yeah, fine. Kazuo Yashiki, yeah. I'm Kazuo Yashiki. We'll go with that name. Understood, Lord Yashiki. Can I explain to you about the mark? It is the seal of death. Great. Those who will have it will soon die. Double great. You do not believe me? I am certain this sounds absurd to one who has led an uneventful life. However, my master's Death proves to be an irrefutable truth. Uh, where's her mark? Corpse which stench comes back to me. That doesn't seem like the work of humans, though. Uh, I see the mark. I am afraid that the horror of the mark does not stop there. Victims slowly lose their memories until the day they die. They face death all while suffering from the terror of losing one's soul. Memory. That can't be. That means that I'm. Oh yeah, I'm gonna die. The fact that you have forgotten your name proves that death is coming. Lord Yashiki, you will die this very dawn. Ah. Oh, to, 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 to. All right. So, uh, so I got until dawn to. Uh, Lift the curse, maybe? My memories skip forward a bit after that. Uh, I just remember being completely stunned of what Ma Mary revealed to me. I can probably attribute to uh, attribute it to memory loss caused by the mark. The next thing I know... I'm in this room? I'm lying in the guest room in the mansion. I vaguely recall dragging myself up the stairs and coming here. I must have fallen asleep at some point. Thanks to that, I feel a lot better. But now I've wasted hours, though. I'll die at dawn, huh? I try saying it out loud. It's definitely shocking, but I can't see it feels real yet. It doesn't make any sense. Way out of the blue. But if it's true, is waiting for my untimely death the only thing I can do? Hmm. Let's consult to Mary. Hey girl! I find Mary sitting in the exact same spot as before. She hasn't moved an inch. I doubt a doll gets bored waiting like humans do. Good morning. You feel better now? Uh... Yeah. That is good to hear. 
Since it appears that you have calmed down, I would like to ask you a question. What will you do now? I can guide you down to only two paths. The first is to wait for death. No, well, the second is to fight the monk. Let's fight Mark. Can you help me? If that is what you wish, yes. My master was researching the mark. A few days prior to her death, she found a way to escape it. Regretfully, she passed away before she was able to inform me. So she doesn't know anything after all. There's some time yet before dawn. You have a slim chance. Salvation is a thin thread dangling from heaven. Great. Uh, what would you do if you grab hold? Uh, would that would that you would grab hold of it, and I shall do my utmost to help. What will I do? I guess it's boiling water to have some coffee. Ooh. If she's right about all this, my time on Earth is up at dawn, and I don't want to die, and there's nothing in my chest to resist the mark until then. If she lies through her little dull teeth, I'll be fine when morning comes. But am I really alright with that? Hell no. Definitely no. People are getting killed in nonsensical, grotesque ways. Am I going to turn a blind eye to it? This is a life or death decision. I need to think about it uh, carefully. Live or die. Deadly choice. We face with choices that can result in death. There's a limited time. Oh, limited time. And your soul powers will continue to drain. Time's up or wrong answers will. Oh, wow. Okay. So be quick about it and be careful finding the right answer. Restoring soul power. Completing a deadly choice will restore some soul power. Accelerated dialogue. Dialogue will be sped up pressing that, but certain dialogue can be sped up. Back to logo. Press W to cruise dialogue. Okay. Auto mode. Pressing that will do auto mode. Highlight the dialogue window. Item X. So you can see the nice art. Oh, cool. <laughs> Then I shall ask you, will you quietly wait for death or struggle against the mark? Fight. 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 Say who? <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's game over if I chose the first one. Alright. Uh, I've decided to trust you. As you say, Lord Yashiki, then I shall carry out the dying wish of my master and aid you. I cannot do much, but feel free to request anything you wish of me. Yeah, once breakfast. What about coffee? Ah. Uh, I made up my mind, but that doesn't mean I know what I should do. I know squat about the supernatural and lose my memory makes research impossible. But I don't have a moment to lose. Knock a knock. A knock comes from the front door. Who'd come here at this, this late at night? Oh my, what a sign of fate. <laughs> There's other work bearers that have arrived. Awesome. Is it instinct that she knows these things? Maybe she has some kind of mysterious power being a talking doll and all. Beg your pardon. I do apologize, but can you go greet a guest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This may be experience a shock if a doll such as myself welcomes them. Moreover, while I am unable to move my arms, I am unable to walk. Okay. People are fitted to die like me, that's awesome. I wonder what they're like. I hope they're not like a brother-sister duo. Who I find out there who are not I expect to see out of this late at night. A high schooler. And a small boy. These kids have the mark? No way. Um, we came to see Professor Cujo. Who are you? I can't say I'm a total stranger since I am here in the mansion. I'm... Uh, 
relative. So you're her. So you're her older brother. Your eyes do look kind of similar. She she seems to notice Sayakuja. Now that I think about it, that business card did say spirit spirit to beware. Going off this girl's accessories, I get the feeling that she's a huge occult fan. I'm Moe Watanabe. I'm here to talk to her about this article she wrote in the oops, oops, oop Arts Monthly. She pulls an occult ma magazine out of her bag. Inside is a picture of the mark. And a copy of the article says the scar is a soul inhibiting disease that erase, erases memories at the Kuja Mansion. Um, this is the same scar, right? Moe lifts up her skirt a bit to show me her leg. Right there on her leg, her right there on her right thigh is the mark. I think I know what the article means by erasing memories. Uh, I've been super forgetful lately. I'm e even blanking on my friends' names. That's never happened to me before. Do you think the scar's doing it? That article is obviously bogus. The young boy scoffs. Even kids know better than to believe in ghosts. Uh, better than to believe in ghosts or curses these days. And a high score fell for it. You must be. You must feel embarrassed about that. But Tsukasa, weren't you hanging around in front of the mansion's gate? Fess up. Your scar scares you. They both have. Tsukasa seems to have no retort to that. He silently skulks, sulks. Looks like a bullseye. It's clear they're both uh, mark bearers. I better bring them over to Mary to meet Mary. Moe shrieks excitedly when she gets close. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a doll, yeah? I've never seen one this big before. The craftsmanship is so detailed. It's almost like it's alive. They're both admiring her when she starts talking. <laughs> ah, it, it spoke! With that, the two new visitors join our number. Uh, they enter this monstrous world that hovers on their precipice of death. Mary tells Mo and Tsukasa about the mark once they regain their composure. All about the steadily uh, steady memory loss and their imminent death. Sounds like a ridiculous story, but it gains validity coming from someone like her. Both of their faces pale. Now, if you came specifically here, you believe the Lady Saya's article. Because you uh, You must be really experienced with the pain of losing your memories. Mo admitted as much earlier, but I can see Takasa's face darken. So it must be happening him, to him too. Hey Moe, I'd like to confirm something. Where were you when you got the mark? My amnesia seems to seems to be worse than theirs. So they might remember. I'm not positive, but I think my mark might be cursed from Hanahiko. Hanahiko. This name is familiar to me. He is the ghost of the resident children of He is the ghost of the resident children of this town whisper about, correct? My master was interested in him. So Sayakujo was curious too. Could he be connected to the mark somehow? I'd like to hear more about this ghost. Yes you wish, Lord Yashiki. Then I should tell you the rumors of Hanahiko. Hanahiko. Okay, let's go. Oh, did you hear about that ghost boy all the schools in H City are talking about? Sounds like Hanehiko is back. He's back? Out of retirement? <laughs> I heard that he can't appear if you peek in a school mirror at night. He'll ask you something. Am I pretty? If you tell him no, you'll be fine, but if you say yes, give me that red stuff, man. 
And then he just disappears. But that's not all. Hanahiko hates adults, you know. I heard that if the pers I heard that if the person he asks is an adult, they'll die. And not just drop dead. Their blood is drained from them. And next to the corpse is a single rose. <laughs> a rose dripping with blood. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Rumors can be easily manipulated. Passing from one person to another. Assumptions and errors mix in. So they. So, uh, but they also hold a hint of truth. Miss Moe, do you know anything else? Dot, dot, dot. I think I probably got my mark when I was investigating the Hanahiko at the, uh, um, at the school. Uh, this has got to be some sort of clue. I should ask her more about it. Uh, why were you there? My big dream is to write about the occult, so I'd love to see a ghost. I found this article in a magazine mentioning Hanahiko was seen there. Uh, I figured that the place will be easier to sneak in than a regular school, uh, since it's been closed down. What should I ask her next? Well, was he there? No. But I can't really say for sure. I went, I went to the mirror, but a shiver suddenly ran down my spine and I got spooked and left. Okay, did you notice? I noticed later in the bath. A strange scar was suddenly in, on my thigh and really surprised me. But I realized immediately that it had to that it had to be the what Professor Fitcher wrote about. I think I have a handle on what happened. No way to know for sure about the ghost, but there's no denying that the mark after returning home from each elementary. Then maybe what hand is that? Mine might be from Hanekiko too. I noticed, noticed it after I got home from T Elementary. That ghost was seen in a lot of schools in each city, right? Maybe he's remembering something. Better ask him some questions too. T Elementary, what is that? Oh, okay, you go to school there. Probably heard of uh, heard of it since it's the Tom Rank Elementary in each city. So two schools in each city. Uh, what should I ask next? Was that? Maybe around sunset. I was heading home and I realized I forgot something and turned back. Did you see it? No, and I didn't get chills or anything either. But I think I passed the mirror. Went to the bathroom before going home. I don't think he knows. Uh, I don't think he knows anymore. Uh, their stories are pretty similar to the Hanahiko rumors, but it can be just a coincidence. All right, let's investigate for their sake as well as mine. And all's well's good, but what exactly am I investigating? Death and life are coexisting. If the mark originated there, then I to erase it will be supposed to be there. Sure, with your confidence. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, sure. Well, okay. Uh, you must find it. Find the uh, find the key that you need to break the mark's curse. It's the only way to escape. All of a sudden, the huge burden was dropped on my shoulders. Seems that Hanehika appeared at two schools. Go you investigate. Let's go to... Let's go to H. Yeah, that's probably wise. They address you on the spot if you tried to sneak into a regular school. Oh yeah. Middle-aged monk who can't recall his name, let alone address or job on. I have no excuses if I get caught. Wanna get going then? Let's do this. Wait, you're coming too? Yeah. I haven't given up on Hanahiko yet. But you chickened out. Uh blind optimism. I'm going too. Hey, not you too, seriously? Life's on the line here. I don't want the reason to die to be because of you messing something up. But the uh, but to bring kids along with it is. <sighs> uh, but the mark does not discriminate between lives of children and adults. If they wish to fight, if you wish, if they wish to fight their fate, you should not do that. 
so I need to prepare myself for the worst in this is goodbye. Crystal only take one rank of the moon. A large group of living crystal to be detected by spirits. How do you know that? I also ask you not to waste time dawdling others with others on the way. Yeah, it is possible unnecessary contact may hasten the effects of the mark. Oh, okay. Only engage with absolutely necessary, so this is a stealth mission. Keep in contact with other stealth mission. Definitely. Definitely a stealth mission. So the partner, where did this partner in here? Yeah, we think it would be a good idea to take notes on, on what Mary's told us. Memory's getting worse all the time. Should write down everything. Uh, don't know when I'll use that again. I'll write down information, keep my file. So I'm just send my license at some point. Okay. Uh, important info on spirits. Check out my bag. Console if you need help. Save low at save at the mansion or hobs. Return to the to return to the bag to load. I'm just continue. Okay. Oh, I got a letter opener. Infinite uses. So there's like stuff, consumable stuff. Two dimensions. Oh, beautiful models, faces, mirror, and handle. The blade is sharp, but it can, but it can handle soft items. Stab. <gasps> it can stab a knife. Short. Whoa! There's action in this game. Spirit file, honey. Go. Yeah. You mentioned. Oh, that's it. That's all I get. Uh, Loves the occult. I thought they were related, they're not. Interesting. How do you, uh. Oh, safe, they're safe. Oh, far out. Is this all the safe? Okay, she's rather bring Moe or Tsubasa. Okay, uh, sure. Let's get a biscuit. Yeah, there we go. How do we go? First, we have to get to each elementary. Let me see if we're free to use the car in the garage. Garage is detached from the mansion, the vintage model and van, the bicycles on the exit there, like an interior. Thank God for careless people, the car key was left on the table. I don't see it. Time to go. You lost a bunch of memories, right? Is it really okay for you to drive? She looks at me suspiciously. Don't worry, you'll be fine, I think. Probably that I have to convince myself, sure. But aren't you missing your license? What if a call find this? We'll have to be, uh, we'll have to more to worry about uh, other than Hana Hina Hanahiko. Our lives on the line, so we'll just go. We'll just GTA it. Once the marks gone, I'll remember it. Then I'll just have them to reissue it. Same if I ever got one. Now I'm even more worried. Just drive safe. Okie dokie. Oh my god. I'm gonna 
bust some ghosts, bro. Even muddies are remarkable. Back in the garage, I wasn't sure if I was able to drive or not, but the second my hands touched the wheel, I wasn't worried anymore. My muscles reacted quicker than expected, and now it's easy to guide this monster down the road. But now, lots of when I can no, no longer do start to go to him with my hand. Hey, mister. Molly pipes up hesitantly and probably let the signs go on too long. She doesn't seem as cheerful as she was a little while ago. Why is that like to lose your memories? It sucks. Yeah, that's a hard question to answer. What do you mean? Uh, like, do they go all at once or a few pieces at a time? What if you're only left with sad memories? I'd hate that. I don't think it works like that, but... I have no idea what's getting worse or better. I don't know what it's like to be begin with. So there's nothing to compare to. In that, in that sense, rather than the memories vanishing, it's like everything been painting white, painted white. That's what it feels like to be a protagonist with amnesia. I'm sure you're um, yeah, you sure I'm mature, Mister. You you take everything so calmly because I'm super cool with my beard. The conversation dwindles, leaving only the sound of the tires of the road. Then thoughts start popping into my head. I don't know if you can hear me here. I'm tired. So, what should we investigate? What do you think? No idea. No, so funny. no idea. I just want to comment something here. Like, see this bro? This is obviously Japan. And they drive at the left side of the road, just like in, here in Australia. But then again, this car, the van, having the steering wheel on the right side. It's probably like originated in maybe like America or somewhere, which is supposed to be the steering wheel, which should be on the right side of the car because they'll be more closer to the middle of the road. That's how it works. So, and I think it's weird because the numbers are there are like correct. Oh, it's so weird. Uh, I can't remember my own name. How am I supposed to know when I were, what we're doing? Please, am I really counting on you? Take whatever you want. I'm talking to a child, I need to show some restraint and be a good example. But that's definitely how I really feel. I stare down at the steering wheel. <laughs> the Dolan Mansion Mark Bearers. The Mark Spirits. The dead. Pretty body. Very mysterious. Look at her face too. Ooh. Feels like I'm going to be buried under all the crushing thoughts that keep popping into my head. What awaits me down this dark road? I'm so scared. My brain might not be able to understand, but my body can sense that death is closing in. Oh my god! If that's what's happening, it isn't probably anymore. It's more of how long do I have left? How much longer is it? I don't know. I almost yelled, but I managed to swallow it down with effort. This guy's got no patience. Like me! I think we're almost there. Really, it's closer than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly right. At any time, it could. It's a lot closer than you think. Alright. But in it, and it. So, looming omin ominously in the moonlight, the skull definitely looks abandoned. For quite a number of years, in fact, the walls are starting to crack. All the windows are broken as well. A uh, thick chain is in front of the main gate to keep people from going in. Dude, you can just step over that. Or go around it, see the gap there? Chotto, No, 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 this Oh, wow. Enthusiastic voice. Uh, enthusiastic, enthusiastic voice comes from a man in the guard uniform. He must be patrolling the area. Looks like they got caught. Uh, this property belongs to the city. No one's allowed, didn't you know? Or are you up to something? <laughs> okay, okay. 
bunch of people have been coming in here there since it's haunted. You aren't the you aren't one of them, are you? Uh, it's haunted. Faint ignorance. Well, that's the rumors they're saying anyway. It's a giant pain. And Moe nods in agreement. It is pretty famous after all. The guard sighs. <sighs> anyway, the school's off limits, so you can't go inside. I don't think I don't want any trouble for my first shift here. Please leave. You know. Okay, okay. And he gone. All right. When entering himself, the guard makes his way into the school. As we watch him leave, Moe leans over and whispers. Oh, okay. Map shows where you're facing and where you can go. Oh. Does it work? Oh, I can just do that. Oh, okay. I'll just go up. Headed to the entrance. So I pressed the keyboard, but I just would rather do everything with the mouse. Uh, pushing on pushing open the door so I head inside. Everything's fucked like this. Whoa, it's so dark. Can't see anything like this. Moonlight doesn't reach inside the wall, we have to use the flashlight. But if you use the flashlight, that... Okay. Can't do anything about it, I guess. But anyway, that mirror is... I'm pretty sure it's to the right on the staircase. Move, move to search the garden area. Shine the flashlight in the area's open entrance and press A. Press the essence to search. Uh, using that will end the search and we. Okay. Cool. Oh, cool. Cool. Fly containing. <laughs> Alright, fly containing warnings and a list of con contacts. Oh. Gonna leave handprints in the mirror on the eastern staircase. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Search the first floor. Multi-purpose classroom. Come check it out. Wow, that presentation takes me back. Anyway, the mirror on the eastern staircase is the one I saw. Guess we'll go there first. Yeah, it's to the right. I know. Okay, we'll end that. Oh, cool. There are platforms of broken wooden slats on the floor of the shoe rack. They creak when you step on them. Uh, examine. Let's examine. Examine. Can I sigh? Oh. Oh, please. Oh, oh, faster. Okay. Okay, so there's no examine. Well, I can't do anything with the bag for sure. So, it's in there. Half torn poster. It says lost and found in large lips at the top. Let's have a look at it more. Lost items are kept in the storage in the staff room. Please check in there. Battered shoe rack is covered in dirt. Examine. Examine for the sign. Press A. Huh. It's probably nothing. Other stuff. Oh. Since filthy and fluorescent lights are broken. Let's go. Yeah. Yeesh. Huh? As we enter the hallway, a small shadow flits across our feet. We'll turn on a flashlight to find. Ooh! Scary bunny. School pet. Squeaks and dashes between our feet. It rushes towards the east and end of the school. Should we follow it? Ha <laughs> ha yeah right. 
the info side of the space bar, Black Rabbit. Rain coming from the broken window is making the floor cold. Whoa! This is cool. Uh, how do we go? We turn around and head back. Oh, whoa! Whoa, okay. Alright. Investigate. It's an emergency alarm. Look harder. Something may be wrong with it. Yep. See if there's anything inside. Worn out talisman. You pick up the worn out talisman, I feel one. Go through me. I got soul power here, yeah. Warner tells me crumble silently in my hand. Uh, more soul power you have, it's easier you will survive it. Damage, that's sick. Is that the same thing? Uh, already, already know what that is. Alright, so let's side forward this way. Yeah, bye. <laughs> Thing looks like something smashed the floor and flares and lying in the shadow beyond repair. So he's just fucking shit kids. Um, fucking around the place. Uh, so I really can't invest. Well, look at that. Who the fuck's doing that? <laughs> the dust is so thick in the ceiling that it's walking. That just walking around causes a shower of particles. So it's like unstable. What's in there? Abandoned desk. Let's look harder. Slightly rusty. Can we feel it? A holy hard hat. I doubt that's very useful. Do I have a telescope? Head for a child, it got holes and it's missing its padding, it's lively and not very effective. It can be forced on an L head with effort. Command wear hard head much longer. Huh, that's weird. Uh, that's so weird. Will you save? Is there a save? So I can save the haunts. Hold on. Memo? Bugu. Oh! I'm just gonna hunt your spirit power. No more average than her, though. What's this? Nothing. Marked. Okay. Uh, let's investigate more. No, 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 no. Okay. Set forward. The staircase. Four tiles seem to be peeled off, leaving bare concrete. But yeah, is that the outside? Piercing cold wind. Yeah, fuck it, all the windows are fucked. Doors locked. Feel. We need a key. This must be the staircase. Uh, Whoa! Spooky! Wire door is rusted shut and won't move. Alright, uh. Before we interact with the ghost, does it go reverse? Oh, cool. It goes reverse. Unless it's the same thing. It's like cold air. Oh, it's cool. Like, oh, all right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Skip forward. Yeah, forward. We'll investigate the other rooms. Oh, so scared. Entrance. Seem to be locked. Can we? All right. Let's let's double check. Need 
like a master key. Whoa. Lights on the ceiling are silent and dark without power. That's it. Uh, staircase in an adjacent room. Whoa. The broken window is letting a piercing cold wind. Oh, it's like the same thing. Doors locked. Feel it. All right. So let's. All right. Let's. Uh, okay. Let's go around and uh, do the staircase thing. Yep. Move forward. Wish, wish moving around is like more instant, like snap instant, like playing a like playing a Nancy Drew game. So you go click, 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 click. You can like speed run it. Uh, go up. We go. Climb this. Climb the stairs. Oh, it's an action. Okay, let's do the thing. This is it. This is the mirror I saw last time. I'm sure of it. Huh? Just then, a dull pain runs through my wrist. Like something is binding to my skin. To distract myself from the pain, I kept talking with Moe. Uh, it certainly looks normal. Yeah, what should we do? It's a dirty mirror. All the stains are even hard to see a reflection. Uh. face forward and suddenly wipe the gray mirror over my hand. As if I can't make anything out. I only see my own shadow reflected as a big shadowy lump. My shadow sways in the mirror. At least that's what I thought at first. I figured the shadow goof because I had. But the next time the shadow moves, a cold shiver that ran down my spine. That's not my shadow. Something's in the mirror. <gasps> Moe yelps and step back. Well, that confirms I'm not hallucinating. There is really, s there is something in there. Every muscle in my body locks. I'm trying to look away, but I can't even close my eyes. The figure's mouth twists. I don't want to look, but uh, but I can't even close my eyes. It opens its mouth. An odd voice pierces my ears. Live or die. Am I pretty? No. No. Say who? Because I remembered you're supposed to say no because you're an adult. If only had that red stuff. I can't see well. Are you a grown up? Wrong. Am I supposed to fool this kid? No. My heart struggles val valiantly and to keep breathing. I'm confused. Wait, am I supposed to fool the kid? Oh no. Side again. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Um, can I go up? <gasps> Climb the stairs. Huh? I feel something s soft squish under my heel. I quickly pick up my foot. And Whoa! How do you know it's poisonous? Well, we let's have something close to our shirt that about seeing them. Snakes! Why has it got to be snakes? That's it? Hmm. Alright, let's go to... Oh, fuck. Let's go back down. Uh, oh man, this is confusing. Alright. 
Let's go to the other stairs. I'm so scared, man. So I'm supposed to pull the kid? Spooky. Oh, gotcha. Was that like an Easter egg? <laughs> uh, fuel, sure. Oh, lucky me. Uh, restored some of my spirit power. Hell yeah. I got 2,000 now, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's consumed. Can we climb? No mirror. So. I think they came from the walls. Is this also filled with snakes? Ah, uh, great. So, so, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, second floor is no dice. So I have to fool myself to the kid. Uh, fool, not fool that. Fool myself. Fool the kid. Then I'm a boy. I'm a kid. And then I have to force myself to wear the hat on command. Maybe. Maybe I'm just kid. I'm just guessing. Can you see, see the spooky kid? No. So, okay, so just checking again. Spirit power is now up. Spirit, spirit power is good. Can I equip? There's no equipping, right? There's no equipping. Alright, so we'll just do this again. Uh, dirty mirror. I just have to hold the button. But 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 but. Am I pretty? No. Say it. Okay. If only had that red stuff. I can't see well. Are you a grown up? I'm the tallest in my class. Okay, so I have to fool the kid. Get the kid. Big people aren't allowed in school. Huh? It cracked, now I can't see. No more big people here. The figure disappears. Oh. No way six to the floor. They gas him. They gas him panic disbelief for a while after much the same. What was that? It's probably the guard. Hanahiko. Couldn't say it, but the words six in the way through him. I'm completely dry. Can't believe it is that I wasn't gonna see a ghost. Let's see how long we go here. We no way six to Shigoten County. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, after a uh, like a real encounter like that, you can't just like you know shake it off, bro. Uh, Hanika's words were left in my head. Our situation is, uh, was done a complete reverse from where we were just a moment ago. I can't believe I was complaining about not knowing what to investigate. Uh, anyway, that scream. What was that? It's the guy we met outside. Probably in trouble. Just were. Uh, you scream like that, something might have happened to him. 
I hear someone whisper in my ear. Purify the Gred. <sighs> I look in the direction of the voice, all I see is darkness. Let's check the memo then. Oh yeah, I don't have it. Is there a black rabbit in front of us? I don't know. It's funny but we carry so many strange things already, but I don't know. Funny doesn't phase me at all. Though it's paralyzing dread may be concerning. Uh, anyways, find the nerd. So no big people here. See so chasing something down over the horrible scream. Oh, Mr. is dead in there. Bird cry breaks the silence. I guess there's a crow song or something outside. <laughs> that was scary. That's it. Oh, all right. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Is something like slamming against the door. Is someone inside? Shine the flashlight at the door. Whoa. Oh, his face is all roasted up. I don't know where the person fit in. It's so confined in some. <laughs> Moe shrinks them both down. Recognize his clothes. Plant covers half of his face. Part of his face, it's part of his face. We can see it's is twisted and anguish as he screams. No doubt about it. He's on guard. Don't what happened. Bones are down on his face. It hurts. What's going on? Well, uh, no, he sits on the floor, stunned. suddenly rushes towards the entrance and then silence falls once more and pant uh, all right we're breathing we're freaking out once we catch our breath I take Moe's hand and help them up uh, our nerves have calmed I'll come some but definitely left an unpleasant impression something terrible lurks here we can't just sit around I feel like I was just paralyzed Alright. Okay, now I think we should chase the guard and take his keys. I wonder if I could do that. And I don't know if you noticed, but I got the feeling someone was standing behind him. There's really no good way to respond like that. I let the silence serve as my answer. What else could I do? No point in coming here, we're just gonna just stand here shaking. Uh, if we don't uncover the secret before it comes for us. Why don't we check out the staff room? The tax bill avoid answering Mo's question. The guard had run up, run out of there. Maybe something, I mean, uh, something might be inside some secret about Haneko. Yeah, you're right. Let's just be careful, okay? I cover my wrist and my palm, making sure Mo doesn't notice. The moment I put my hand on the knob, the mark burned my skin, pulsating. All right. Classified guard. Can we just turn back? And uh, see if we can meet the guard. I don't think we can. Can we? Moved outside. Are we actually outside? No? No. Okay, he's not here. So we is it this way? Can we go in? Okay. Uh, let's move, uh, move forward. Just 
this the stop group? Still snakes, right? Yeah, snakes. Great. This Okay, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Alright, just keep going. So it's not this door. Can we just hold on? Use this. Nope. 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 Then turn on that. And then tool. That opener. You give it a try, but it won't even fit inside that. Damn it. Wow, so uncool. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> go inside here, right? No, that one's a net. Can I go inside here? Feel it. Denon up there. Alright, uh, let's look at the memo. Maybe. Then again, we might discover the screen. Burst out of the stop room. Probably we'll go past of all things. Pain was driving me mad. They just go do this. We don't have to go, which means inside the stop room is where we have to get going. But it's locked, though. So, just check. Just checking. So let's move this way. So we're outside. And then, okay, we can't search here. So we'll go inside and we'll be at, at this spot. And from here, we do light. So it looks like we can move this. Uh, so this how about this? Okay, this last one from Shurak. Blah 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 blah. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. So we'll just keep going, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Door is locked. Uh, look at it. Locked door. Heal. Come on. Okay, okay. That's enough. Ugh. I don't know where to go. Uh, man. Let's walk up. And then salmon. So there's nothing there. by staff room. 
Oh, is this this is the stop button? No. No. Oh, like that. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Staff rooms and what do you mean chaos? There's nothing here. <laughs> stop in under the walls are is there a fire or something? There are black scorch marks everywhere. Oh, here. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. No, it's relief and come under behind me. Yeah, it's totally empty anyway. Let's look around. Great. Oh, there's a door over there too. It looks like it went to another room. Is there any ghost thingies? Nope. That post, something falls from the top of it. Or not Tasman. Yeah. Oh my god, I got so much soul power, you guys. It was burnt, it must have been fire he said a long time ago. I see. Is there something else? No, 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 no. Let's keep going. Yep. What do you mean you cramped? It's like there's nothing in there. Uh, hopefully there's something useful in here. Thank God, man. Where? Okay, so let's check here. Uh, here. Nothing. Where else in place? Looks like one open. Something's stopping it. How about there? And check inside, but there's not anything that catches my eye. How about there? Thing is a school journal. The purple, the paper is deteriorated from age and bugs, and I can't read it. How about here? There's a door cut into the floor. Some kind of storage area. Really? I tried to grasp one and pull it up, but I have six items. Uh, can we open it with that? Yeah. Stand up pretending to be cool. <laughs> that's weird. Okay, that's worrying. Something dangerous must be in there. What's wrong? Are you going to see what it is? Uh, I'll check it out later. I keep my reply vague as a ghost of my niece. Let's look around the room first. There's a bunch of visitors. What? 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 There's something hidden beneath our feet. I live my sure if I ever forget to go down there. So it's, I think it's telling me to like save or. in here. So I can't open that. Uh, ooh. Opener. I took it out, I took it out, but I can't think of a way to use it. Ugh, thank you. I can switch army knife, uh, what you call it, uh, gameplay. Use item on this and it won't work. Great. Yeah. <gasps> oh, what's this? I think I can reach it. Feel it. Grab the box and look inside. Lipstick, red pen, ghost slippers. Lipstick, red pen, ghost slippers. Red pen, maybe? You need a reason at all. Now we can go inside now, eh? No, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, so let's check this out. Old lipstick found in the lost and found box. Red color really pops. It's been used enough. That there's not much left. Use lipstick. Next. Red pen. Red pen with a cute character on the side. The cap is missing, but the ink isn't dry yet, so it can still be used. Write with the pen. Children's slippers made out of red rubber. There are traces of the owner's name on it, but it's stained and illegible. Children's slippers. Hmm. Maybe if we copy the kid, we could like wear that and put on the lipstick. Probably. Let's open it. Oh. There's more things to do? Is there more things to do? Oh, really? Oh, oh. Is there more stuff to do? I didn't get it. Uh, okay. Uh, there's 
no key. Let's try again. Oh, come on. Well, uh, 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 uh. Do we need to do that? Let's go this way. Yeah. No. Ah. So, so it's it's gonna stop me again. Oh man, I'm gonna stop him by the door. Styling weed. No, I'm probably missing like a, like a uniform or something. And it is. So we can't open that. I think we can't open that. And it's nothing in here. We can't open it. Oh, wait. Is it here? No. Uh, so it's nothing interesting there. So. Let me just have a look at it. The corners of the doors are really wrong. So you know what, no, we're just gonna exit that. Yeah, we might, we might get lucky. Ooh, another light. Oh no, that's not it. Yeah, back here. Let's just explore the area. Everything. Upstairs. This is so thick, it's assuming that it's just walking around causing a shower of particles. Uh, abandoned desk. Doo -doo. And I feel around. Plastic bottle? There's nothing in the bottle. Well, it might come in handy. Okay. I just want to check if I better. Dirty, empty plastic bottle. It's in pretty decent shape. So if the cap is firmly closed, it should be able to hold a liquid. Let's look at it. Something stuck deep inside. Feel. So I can't reach what's inside. Alright. Cool. Oh, we're progressing. So let's go forward. And then go right. Oh. So this is the... Yeah, okay, so we, we, we've been here. What is that? Oh, yeah. There's something in the... Uh, yeah, something in the desk bottle. Uh, I think it was a talisman or something. Okay, so we got one locked door. And we can go in there. Oh, man. Can we combine items? I wonder. Fire door is rusted shut. No. Upstairs. Uh, can we interact with this in a way? Uh, oh yeah. Feel? Uh, why watch me worriedly, but nothing happens. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing else here. So we need to do something. 
Maybe, uh, okay, okay, I think we already got the item for it. I think it's uh, required, uh, I think it's asking us to take the plastic bottle before we even open the hatch. Hmm. Yeah, probably. probably. Hmm. So we'll be going into the room. Ah, we're up cold. And my coffee's cold. It's now iced coffee. And not the sexy hot coffee. Alright, can we now interact with this? Ah, oh, crap. Wrong one. Oh, let's skip all that. There. Two. What else am I? Might be able to pop the handle out. Let's go down by the door. Looks like it's trying to stop me again. There's the drone. There's something dangerous must be in there. So let's roll on and see what's going to lose. Oh, really? Uh, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wasn't there a... Rain coming in from the broken window is making the floor cold and damp. Can we fill that up with bottle? Oh man, okay, so that's fine. Well, I don't know what to fill it with or to go. This thing doesn't need to anywhere. And then that doesn't need to anywhere. Oh. Okay, that's it. <laughs> that's it for now. This has got to be a lot to be continued. Because fuck, I don't know where to go. Um. Oh yeah. So I think you had fun watching the first like hour and a half of this game. But yeah, I'll I'll try to play more of it um, by myself and. Maybe we might resume. Maybe I can like figure it out. But anyway, I'll catch you guys next time to whatever I want to play next.